Hello and welcome to Seven RPG. I am Sovereign. We're back in Myth of Empires today, and today I'm going to teach you where to find complete wood and complete stone in a relatively safe area outside of the heat zone, so you don't need to bring a wagon and an ice box. Just going to be a relatively short video today because I've been massively busy all day and I haven't had time to get anything set up to make a, a really in-depth guide. And as it's coming up to Christmas, etc., there's going to be a lot of stuff going on. I've got a lot of stuff going on with the family, etc. So I'm going to try and get a guide out for you guys every day. Sometimes they may be a little bit smaller, a little bit more sort of niche than. Uh, some of the lot of the guides that i've made in the past now remember to like the video if you do enjoy my myth of empires contents consider subscribing if you fancy it and we do have a patreon in the description if you fancy supporting myself and the channel now let's get straight into it we're sitting on a, so the past couple of days i've been setting up a uh, pve server on our cluster just for a couple of the guys that want to sit around and uh, so the more people have joined karma and a couple of guys uh, prefer to play on pvp E, so i went and set up a base over on a pve server for the guys and i'll be going back to pvp tomorrow hopefully once i've finished the last few dens and get everything all the balls rolling on this side now we're currently on a pve server we're based down here next to the big farm it's a really really good spot it's in one of my top pvp locations and it's definitely a really good location in well and we're going to be heading over to this area over here now if you actually go over to this area which we'll be going past i'll show you a quick way of getting a lot of hardwood and a lot of stone a lot of the t2 resources are just a along this part over here so i'll actually i'll put a uh, little marker in there just to uh, remember as we're on the way but we're going to be heading over to this area here now this area is going to have a lot of complete stone and complete wood the t3 stuff and it's going to help you step up into the actual next level of building and get in a lot of that end game type stuff going on over so i'm going to head off it's going to be 1500 meters to get to the t2 point and it's going to be, I don't know, another 1,500 to 2,000 to get to the next one. Hopefully this town down here hasn't respawned, so I don't have to run around and kill everyone in there again. It probably has. All right, we're just going to give one of them a little love tap as we go past. Hello, Treacle. Bonk. Oh, lag. Right at that second I was swinging. How's that shit? Oh, God. Look, you know what? Let's go make a quick coin. Hello, Treacle. Bonk. We're just going to kill these dudes, get them all dead. It's not difficult to kill these guys. They're only level 20. Next one. And we can get some decent copper out of it, even though they're low level. Get quite a decent amount. And when you're on a PvE server, if people aren't going past the towns, just as a little quick side note, if people aren't going past the towns and you walk up to the town, they all spawn in the middle of the town. So when you get there, they're all piled up. So you just grab them all. And you won't have to run very far when you're picking up all the copper coins. I believe that's all of Okay, sweet. Let's just loot everything. I have no idea how you guys play on PvE servers. The rates are just so ridiculously low. After playing PvP the entire time I played the game from the beginning, it kind of going down and getting only one times resources and stuff like that. And one times coins is uh, very difficult to wrap my head around. Oh, look, I left one bloody... Back, leave any coin. Coins left unturned. Oh, go away. Wow, it didn't one shot. Oh, I actually bled. All right, let's rock and roll and carry on. We've got a long distance to go. Adira is my lovely heavenly horse. Got 1,100 speed. Running really slow with this bloody cart, though. Faster. So we're actually going towards the sort of T2 area, which is around there. But as you can see, along this whole river, you see all these palm trees? These are all T2 trees. These will all give you loads and loads of hardwood. Show you real quick. Bonk. There you go. Oh, God, there's a bear. Hello, Trickle. Come here, Mr. Bear. Bonk, bonk, and bonk you. So all these guys here, these palm trees, and this is in the forest area. Each of the areas have a different look when it comes to the T2 trees and the Tier 3 trees. Now, the Tier 3 with the complete wood and complete stone pretty much look the same because they're all in the same area. You don't really find those Tier 3 trees anywhere else. And you can see see over there you've got the t the tier two trees the hardwood trees are actually palm trees with scaly looking bark and then you have all these trees here every single one of these trees are all tier two trees you see you can denote it by seeing like the broken branches halfway up the branch up a branch halfway up the trunk and that will denote that they are tier two trees and you get quite a lot of them over here now all the way up here you've got a lot of stone the tier two stone all the way up the hills up here i mean if you're on a pve server you might want to set up a little little hut down here on the side and just go up and just mark, like farm all these t2 trees if you need loads of hardwood to make planks etc i mean all of these are all t2 you can make absolutely crap loads there's no t1 trees in this area until you get like a little bit further up but all of those trees are all t2 and you can just farm them every i don't know 20 minutes 25 minutes you can come back and farm a load more it's just a really good way of getting past that hardwood slump especially if you're in one of the star areas so let's go carry on and get to the area we want to get to because you're here for the complete wood and the complete stone not the tier two stuff but that is one of the better places on the map that i've actually seen to get gather t2 stuff 
compliments of Baldy Board, the legendary, the man, the one and only Baldy Board, who is the god of grinding everything out in this game, resources, and knows every location where to go. And for some reason, my cart just decided to go in front of me instead of behind me. There's been a lot of lag recently, and it's getting like a little bit, getting a little bit on the annoying end. Like there's a lot of rubber burning going on. I was playing on a server yesterday um, when I was looking for a nice PV location. I was looking for that forest location for our base with the large, with the big farm. And I was looking across different servers, and one of the servers was just absolutely absolutely mental I was going up to a thousand ping and I was just standing there and then the horse shot off the mountain and died but luckily it wasn't my heavenly baby oh, nice little bear over there another one lots of bears around here so if you're lower level you have to be a little bit careful I can literally just stand there on bears now it doesn't even like bears don't even exist they're not even on the radar I didn't even know wolf swim that this wolf just gone off for a swim she just fell off the bloody mountain oh for the love of Christ no I sometimes like this game just absolutely winds me up I'm gonna leave the bloody cart there I'm just gonna go oh are you shitting me stop sliding down shit so i made a boo-boo slipped off the mountain fell in the bloody water i almost killed the horse left the cart in the river so we're just going to show you the location and i'm not going to farm it for this moment in time i'm going to fill out my horse and then head back afterwards it's got a decent amount of carry weight what in the holiest that what was that what is that Did you guys see that shit man there is some shenanigans going on these servers these days man these dudes are like flying in the air and just fell out the sky the npcs do not want me to show you this bloody location i've been i've been this is the third time i've been assaulted in the net last couple of minutes i don't even see where they are now that that box is going to stay up there the whole entire time that's a, that's an annoying one even though you get out of range they're still going to find you so we are now in the correct area that is just north of the snow cap mountain and you'll see these sort of red stones here these will be your complete stone so you get like gypsum complete stone etc etc i mean we're on the pve server so it's actually really bad for the amount you collected you'll be getting much more if you're on a pvp server but these rocks do have a lot of hp so it does take a lot of time to actually get through them so you're going to get a decent amount of complete stone rubble gypsum sand etc etc so make sure you bring a cart and don't leave it in the river now you're going to see a lot of these red stones all up along the hillside up along the sides and it's going to go it goes all the way across you're going to see them go all the way around it goes all the way down and around you're going to have them all over here and that's your complete stone now when you're looking for your complete wood you would think because it's called complete wood there would be these lovely trees but it's not it's these fallen down, ugly ass monstrosities. Now these guys will give you rare wood as well as complete wood. You'll get much less rare wood out of it, but you will get a decent amount of complete wood out of these. But this is how you're going to be getting your complete wood. It's completely on the floor, I guess. That's the only thing complete about it. But you'll also get a decent amount of resin. You'll get some rare wood, you get complete wood, and sometimes you get branches, etc. But mostly you'll get complete wood out of these bad boys. All right, as soon as I say that, you get branch and bark. Thank you. Now all of these other trees up here, the ones that are standing, they're all T2 trees so you'll be able to get your hardwood there if you fancy it and you'll find these sort of fallen trees all of these fallen trees these ones here the ones that are actually in the ground are all complete wood and rare wood a little bit of rare wood all of these all the way along and as you can see you're not getting any heat around here you can see all the complete stone everywhere complete wood complete wood complete stone complete stone complete wood it's all the way along this ridge and there is a lot of it here and you're not getting burnt where you'd normally have to do it in the desert. This is a really good place for you guys to get your complete uh, without having to bring a wagon with the ice box, as I said earlier. And that goes all the way around the edge here. Now the heat will start around here. So it's gonna be all the way the edge along here and the heat starts about here. So this whole bit here is pretty safe. There's no heat along here and you just find all your complete stone and complete wood there. And that's basically all we have for today. Just a really quick one to help you guys get to the next level. If you guys would like some more content on actual locations of different resources, then please let me know down in the comments which ones you'd like to see first and I'll be able to get those out for you. It's just easier for me to do over the holiday period rather than uh, actually working for like eight hours on a video to get it all set up and get all the stuff ground out. And because I don't use any of the resources that the Guild Creek collects for my videos, I collect the stuff myself that I need for the video. So sometimes it can take a long time to get that build going. And it's not something that I can really, I don't really have the time for at the moment, especially during Christmas break. So anyway, leave a comment for any of the guides you want locations for any of the resources. Let me know down below. Remember to like and sub if you do enjoy my Myth of Empires content. Fly safe and avoid local chat scans.